Hello, what's up? Okay, so first things first, um, film review. Also gonna just do a smoky eye makeup, just simple. I watched, I don't even really know what it's called. I think it's called Gretel and Hansel or Gretel and Hansel. Hansel. Don't know how to say that, sorry. Watched it last night and I have a lot of things to say. I've got a lot to say, okay? I don't know if it's under horror. I'm assuming it is. If it's under suspense, like, okay, I get it, but like, no. I watched the trailer for it. I, when I watch movies, I try not to watch like a ton of trailers of it or like the ones that like always give it away. I just like try not to do that. By the way, I'm using Fit Me Foundation um, in the 110 porcelain, so it's like the lightest color. I try not to watch a ton of trailers. I did see trailer for this. Um, it was when I was watching another movie in the theater and it just like came on. And it just like looked interesting, but it wasn't like, I was like, oh, I need to see this or like, oh, this is gonna be so good. I went into it, I didn't know it was PG-13 and so all you kiddos can go watch it. Any movie that's like PG-13, I'm like kind of questioning if it's a horror movie because usually, I don't know, they kind of like screw things up because they can't like show things. This one, I don't know, like it showed a lot, so. The premise, I mean, it's Hansel and Gretel. It's like a brother and a sister, they get like kicked out from wherever their family is, their mom is staying. It's like a homeless place, I don't know. They go out into the woods, they're gonna go work for like the forestry, they go to this random house and it's like all lit up, candles, everything. <sighs> I'm like, girl, why would you go in there? They go in there, they encounter some scary stuff, I guess. And then this like guy, this like huntsman guy, like goes and tells them where the forestry is and then he like gives them a path or something. Then on the way, they see a house and it's like full of food and they're like, oh, let's go in. They go in and there's a witch in there and there's like this tale that was told like before everything that there was like this little girl and she like went to the enchantress and got special powers but then used it to just kill all of the kids in wherever they lived so you're assuming that it's her um but that's basically the story um, i'm also gonna be using my bronzer natural bronzer it's like almost gone for my eyelids, just put it all over your eyes, all the way up almost to your eyebrow and just like spread it out. This is such a lazy review. Anyway, yeah, it's like pretty slow. Also, when I was watching it, like right off the bat, I was like, this is like I'm watching Holy Mountain again. I don't know if any of you have seen Holy Mountain, um, but I was just like, the outfits are the exact same, such a ripoff. Using triangles to an excess, um, it just like, the design vibe was totally Holy Mountain and it was kind of like putting me off a little bit. But at the same time when I was watching it, I was like, wow, like I'm watching like a Pinterest board in a movie version. Like I literally have seen like so many like just like cloaked people in like fall weaves and like blah, 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 blah. Like it's like such an aesthetic. Um, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but like, I don't know who the designers, like it was like the set design, the costume design, the cinematography was like, they were all on board to just make like a Pinterest movie is what it looked like to me. Oh, also I'm taking Jeffrey palette conspiracy and I'm putting root beer all over my eyelid. Sorry, diet root beer all over my eyelid. There was just a lot of things wrong the writing wasn't great. It wasn't great at all. Character, like they looked good and like they acted pretty good like the actors, but there was just no emotional connection to the characters. I had absolutely no emotional connection. I had no cares if they got eaten or not. Um, in fact, I was kind of hoping they both would, but they didn't. The ending was atrocious. The ending was like so cheesy. It was so cheesy. It was like I was watching a, a supernatural teen novel like Twilight or the host I don't know when it's predictable when I can just predict things that are gonna happen I'm like oh like they're gonna eat the mushrooms oh, they're gonna get high like they're gonna go in oh she's gonna see them oh she's gonna like also be a witch like I just did a spoiler but who are who cares the aesthetic of it like I love the set design I love like I think it was like it said it was filled, filmed in Ireland which I was like that's extra but like 
it looked pretty good okay it was like good and then there was just things that like the witch had like black hands and i was like dude i've seen that like on pinterest like on the top for like horror like there was jump scares in there but i don't see what would make it scary like a scary movie like there's just like nothing there was a couple effects that i was just like that was trash there was a part where there was like goop coming out of the sink and then it was like her dress and it turned into her like the witch and i was like that looked trash and then there was just like some consistency things there was a part where they had there was a hairless cat that was in the house and they just like would be sleeping in their room and the girl and the little boy are talking and there, there's the cat in the background and i'm just like looking at the cat only because it's so cute and then it like jumps off the bed and they even like made it they even added, like, they added the sound for the cat jumping off. Also, I'm gonna be putting it under my eyes. They put the sound for the cat jumping off the bed, then it, like, switches to the boy talking, and then it switches back to the girl, and the cat is back on the bed, and I'm like, watch the next scene, the cat is not gonna be on the bed. Goes to the boy, goes back to the girl, the cat is not on the bed. I'm like... And then I'm like, well, watch, it's gonna be back again. And then it goes to the boy, and then it goes back to the girl, and the cat is back. I'm like, dude, that was so hoo hooper obvious. Like, you are not tricking me. Like, are you serious? Mm. Okay, and then I'm getting a little naked palette. The very last, the first color, Virgin, that's what it's called. It was just like inconsistent. The end was awful, it was just super cheesy. There's just like some things where it's like, okay, like if the witch was so evil, she would have just taken the boy and killed him without her, without the sister even knowing about it. But the witch was like telling her that she had to kill the brother and was like, I'm gonna kill him. Like, and then she like locks her so that she can see him, her killing him. And then she like uses her powers and whatever. Like why, if I were a witch and I wanted to kill the boy, why would I tell her I was even gonna kill her? Like I. I was assuming that he was already dead this whole time and he wasn't and then she like saves him so it's like obviously the acting was good it was pretty decent like the witch I honestly she looked really great and I want to be her and just put this color on your that little part of your eyelid just to brighten it up a little bit I've been doing with my eyebrows lately is like I'm not even filling them in at all. Usually I would fill them in, but you, I'm, I'm just not doing that lately. The clear lash, this stuff, and then I just like bring them up. So honestly, if you're just trying to watch like a movie, not taking it too seriously, if you want a movie to kind of laugh at, I definitely recommend it but if you like actually want to be scared you actually want something of value don't watch it I'm also gonna just go in with my bronzer again and just bronze my face my cheekbones my everything I don't know I think the writing if the writing were better it could have been great that's what I'm thinking I don't have no idea if it's even like an indie movie I don't think it is because um, it wasn't made by a24 it felt like an indie movie, but it also didn't at the same time. I don't think I've ever heard of the director. And they obviously used the girl from, like, It, because she's popular right now. Yeah, honestly, if you're gonna watch it, don't take it too seriously, because it's not that great. Okay, now I'm just adding my lashes. Um, Kiss lashes, that's what I use. Uh, Duo Blue, really good. And just, like, stick them on. I just saw a tip that was, like, try to stick it onto the middle and then wiggle the ends, so... Okay, and then last but not least, I'm just going in with highlighter. This is um Wet n Wild drugstore um highlighter, but oh ho ho ho! I put a lot. But yeah, um, if I were to give it out of five witch hats, um, I would definitely give it like just because I was entertained while I was watching it, I'd probably give it one witch hat out of five. So. Don't watch it. I'm just kidding. It wasn't bad. It wasn't great. It was PG-13. Teenagers can go watch it. Be like, oh, because there are a couple jump scares. People like that. I don't like jump scares if they suck. Also, I'd say watch it if you've seen The Holy Mountain, just so you can be like, wow, this is like a ripoff of that. That's my review. We are done.
really simple, really easy. So.